Hey everyone, my name is Jesse. I'm the marketing intern at here at GrantMe. And today we're going to be doing an admission review on Waterloo Software Engineering. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn notifications on as well. Inside today's video, we're going to talk about admissions, we're going to talk about academics, we're going to talk about student life, and we're going to talk about funding. So stay tuned. Starting with academics, Waterloo Software Engineering is one of the best programs in Canada and it definitely has a respected reputation both in Canada and internationally. They have one of the top co-op programs in Canada, and they have insane connections to the Silicon Valley and tech hub cities like Toronto. In addition to this, they have a lot of connections and alumni in FANG and big tech companies and even a lot of tech startups as well. For a starting salary for a software engineering graduate, you can expect to make $100,000 to $150,000 if you're working in the Silicon Valley or something like another tech-centered hub. If you wanted to stay local and work in Canada, the average starting salary looks around $60,000 to $100,000 depending on the company area uh, you work in. Touching a bit more on the co-op program, it's one of the best programs in Canada and it works on a study work term basis. So you study for one term and then you do co-op for one term, and this way you gain a lot of practical work experience in the field. One thing to note here is that co-op is still application based. They give you a directory full of opportunities, but it's up to the students to apply. A lot of the really good competitive uh, positions for these co-ops fill out really fast, so make sure you apply early and get your resume tailored. Waterloo also offers exchange. They both offer exchange for international students and also for the students themselves. But it's a little bit less popular because because of their co-op program, you can do co-op all over the world. You can do co-op in Europe, you can do co-op in Asia, you can do co-op in North America, in many, many different parts of the world with many affiliated companies that participate in the co-op program. Going into your first year for software engineering, your courses are quite fixed. They're quite STEM heavy courses, ranging from calculus to physics to chemistry, mechanics, and all these types of different STEM courses. They're definitely a challenge and you need to be prepared to take on the burden and workload. I'm going to put down in the screen right now about your two terms of studying in your first year and the different courses that you need to take. Now let's talk about admissions. So the admission requirements applying to Waterloo Software Engineering in your grade 12 year comes as follows. They value your top six grade 12 courses, including advanced functions, calculus, chemistry, physics, and English, and then your last final course is an elective. My tip here is to make sure your last elective is a grade boosting average in high school. So take an elective, an academic elective in your final year of high school, and make sure you get that mark as high as possible so your top six average can be boosted. Waterloo weighs your application with both grades and the supplemental application called the AIF. First, they look at your grades and then they base it off your essays that you write and how you answer your questions and how you demonstrate leadership and your personalities through these essays. The admission average is a low to mid 90s, but I'd rec definitely recommend having a 95 plus average because as long as you have a good AIF and 95 plus average, your chances are greatly improved to get into Waterloo SE. The acceptance rate for Waterloo Software Engineering is extremely competitive and definitely rivals some of the top programs and universities in the world. It can range from 5 to 15% depending on your average. So if you have a below 90% average, your chances are probably closer to a 5% and if you have a 95% plus average, you're probably getting a little bit closer to a 15% plus depending on how your AI also contributes to that. Let's talk about some student life. Starting with residences, there are two major residences in your first year, Village One and Ron Aid Village. These are your traditional residences and they also come with meal plans that you can top off. Their meal plans go in three way and can range from three different options depending on how much you eat. It can range from $2,700 to $3,100. The social life at Waterloo is relatively on the quieter side, but there are a ton of fun and big events hosted by the university and the community, such as Homecoming and also St. Paddy's Day. For libraries, there are two major libraries on campus. There's the STEM kind of library about engineering and sciences, and then there are ones about arts and humanities and social sciences. The one about STEM is called the Davis Center Library, and then the other one non-STEM related is called the Dana Porter. The club scene at the University of Waterloo is a little less 
popular compared to other universities just because they have a, such a good co-op program and students are traveling all over the world. So it's hard to have organized events all the time because students are always on a co-op term. But that's to say there's still a ton of fun clubs on campus and you can definitely find a hobby that you like and meet many new friends. Let's talk about funding. So the program tuition cost for domestic students for Waterloo Software Engineering is $18,000. And as this is relatively on the more expensive side, but for international students, it's $66,000. For scholarships, there are three automatic entrance scholarships that you don't need to apply for, and it just depends on your average when you apply. There's the presidential scholarship with distinction, which is for applicants with a 95 plus average. You get around a scholarship worth of $5,000. And then there's the precedent scholarship for students with an average of 90 to 95. This is valued at $2,000. And then there's the Merit Scholarship for uh, students with an average of 85 to 90%, and this is worth $1,000. In addition, the biggest scholarship offered by the University of Waterloo, but not just University of Waterloo, there's many universities, other universities that are affiliated as well, is called the Schulich Leadership Scholarship. This is valued at $80,000 to $100,000, and this is only available for STEM students. And many, many University of Waterloo students win this, and it's quite a popular and major admission scholarship. In addition, there's some smaller scholarships as well, but these are all faculty and program specific, so you need to go onto the Waterloo website and do some more research yourself. For financial aid and bursaries, you can contact the student aid office and complete an assessment form to see if you qualify. In addition, there's also OSAP, the Ontario Student Loan Center, and finally, there is a co-op term. So for software engineering, the average amount of income that students can gain from their work term around their whole entire undergraduate ranges from $50,000 to $60,000. So you can definitely use the money you earn from your co-op term to fund your education. Thank you for watching Waterloo Software Engineering Admission Reviews. If you're interested in scholarships or applying to scholarship, check out the link below. Take a quick three minute quiz to see if you qualify for anything. And if you're interested in applying to Waterloo Software Engineering and want to increase your chances by double, also take the quiz below and our, uh, our admissions quiz below in the link in the description. Thank you and good luck in applying to Waterloo Software Engineering.